right, uh, really looking forward to the Grand National on Saturday. Looks particularly competitive renewal this year. We have lots of horses going to be given chances. For me, I'd be with Ruby Walsh and whatever he rides. Likely to ride Seabass for his father. I think he's got a big chance. Paul Nichols, Neptune Colons looks back to form. and This has been placed on the Gold Cup, remember. So this could run well at a big price. Of the favourites, I'll be against Junior. And I think uh, Synchroniser might be going to the World once too often. And I'd like to oppose Bally Briggs after last year's hard race. Other horses to mention, I think Gordon Elliott's Chicago Grey will hit the frame. Ridden quietly, come through late, got a good chance each way. Good luck wherever you back. Looking ahead to next week's Grand National, to our fancy against the field are Killy Glenn, who was in the process of running a fine race last year when tipping up five or six out, and the much improved Giles Cross at around the 25 to 1 mark. Lee. I'm no, I'm no form expert on the jumps, but Seabass, you need to be back in at 16 to 1. This horse has won six on the bounce, made you know good step up to graded company when it won its sixth in a row. The trainer's won it before. I think you know it's had its problems, but at 16 to 1, I think you get a really good run for your money. The other horse, which is extremely close to my heart, State of Play was my first sort of winner at a price in the uh, the Hennessy. I just think. It's, it's very old now, you know, it probably hasn't got many races left in it. It's always just prepped for this race and it'll be a, a decent run for a place. I don't think it'll win, I'd love to see it win, but at 33s or 40s, you know it'll get round and come the end, when everything's sort of dying on its legs, it'll just be plodding on for a nice little place. For next week's Grand National, I'm going to be all over sea bass. Slice the belly, wash her out, Put some onion, a little bit of ginger, soya sauce and oil over the top, wrap her up in foil, oven, gas mark 5, 20 minutes, sea bass is a winner. Looking forward to next week's Grand National Aim Tree. Um, the one I fancy in the big one is Giles Cross. Uh, gone close a couple of times in the Welsh National. Very impressive at Haydock last time. Uh, the extra trip probably should suit uh, about 25 to 1, I think it's a uh, fair value. Uh, that's my tip for the Grand National.